right, so it is uh, Tuesday, I and we are getting we're getting we're uh, what? What'd you say? I didn't say anything. Okay. Where's your bike everywhere, Loxley? Cause it's cool. It's top. It's top. Yes, but uh, anyways, we're out here. I know what's up. We're getting the car tech. We arrived here early because you know we want to make sure we have everything done, so we're not freaking out trying to get stuff ready. What about you, Dorothy? Is everything going good? You're Excellent. Right? Yes. Look at this day. How can it be bad, right? Oh yeah. It's beautiful. Just having fun. Let's go yeah, take a look. Wow. Going for a ride. A ride on over for tech yeah, inspection. Yeah. Going for a rip, yeah, bud. Bro, the yeah. back of that little the little foot pad is super slippery. Why is it super slippery? I, I, I don't know why. Tire shine all over that put tire shine on oh come on, dude. Why? I didn't put tire shine on. I didn't put tire shine on that. Day one. This is where you get tech? Yes. This is where you get tech, Over man? Over here in the shady corner? Shalegal. Oh yeah. God, Whoa. pavement changed Dr drastically. I don't want to. Want... Aerodynamic guys, come on. Oh! Oh, you saw that? It's quick, look at that. It's quick. No, it's Take quick. him out. Oh! Oh, look at this. Woo! We passed! Yeah! Yeah. Small victories right there. All right, so we're rolling over to go to the weighing station for tech because Alex is getting his car weighed. And uh, what else, bro? Weight matters. Weight matters. So if Shalego did not lose the 100 pounds that we told him to, he will not qualify to drift. Kidding. All right. Probably his vert weighs as much as like a regular car or more because it's, you know, strengthened in the middle. Alex got everything done and he's ready to compete so we can put stickers on. How are you feeling? I'm excited. Excited. I'm, excited. Oh, yeah. I'm ready. I'm ready. ready. I'm ready. I'm ready to drive. Yeah. I'm ready to you. Damn. That is a girl driver driving this car over here, which is pretty cool. Then we have, uh, Miles, Miles Gimp, driving this JDM looking car, it's so JDM AF. Um, not sure who that person is over there. And then uh, we got some more JDM looking cars right here. It's pretty cool. And then on top of that, we've got a lot of 240s actually. A lot of 240s here. This car is pretty cool too. Big Magnuson Supercharger. Ooh, this is an interesting car. It's really different. You don't see this a lot. Then we got all the pros over here. Oh, this is a tire. This is a tire company. Hoover is sponsored by Falcon. This is where they would get all their tires. A lot of tires stacked up there. And uh, this right here is um. Ken Gucci? Yeah, it looks like Ken Gucci's car in the trailer right here. That is Chris Forsberg's car. See them pulling it out right now. And then uh, here's Ryan Turk. Turk's car. That looks so crazy. Oh yeah, they turned that street car into a pro car, right? Because the other one got crashed. Then you have the Sorensons. Another 240 right here. Here's Kelsey, another driver from Florida. Which is cool. Um, then you have Von Gittin. Ooh, this is a Von Gittin trailer. Look at that. Look at all their tires and stuff right here. Alright, so let's head back to our trailer. And we got the Imagine Garage guys over there. Well, when I was actually in California, well, actually, camera guy, I filmed them at uh, Willow Springs. That E36 with the LS built with the Magnuson Supercharger is gonna be pretty cool to watch. And then this car right here with a bunch of anime on the side. That's pretty cool too. And Joel is, and Joel is still putting on the uh, stickers and stuff. I think he's done now. I have over there. Oh, and then you have 3, 45, 5, 50. Oh, okay, yeah, that'll be a second. Sweet. Uh -huh. Lunchtime. Hey, what's up, man? All the food. Okay. Hey, the door. Yo, come eat! Oh, Burgers man. don't like steak. What's that done, that done? What Lunch you got time. there, man? What you got? 
the Ooh. peel unless that broke. Ooh. What's up, guy? What's going on? You're late to the party. Oh, yeah, well, our battery uh, kind of shit the bed, our alternator. We went to Advance and Napa. Kind of find out it's just a short somewhere. Goddamn Mercedes. Wow. Nothing wrong with it. It just said low battery. Okay. Call assistance. So we're like, all right, we're just going go to the, go to the store. This is round two of the Formula Drift Pro Championship, but it is the first round of the Link Engine Management Pro 2 Championship here at Orlando Speed World.
I'm good. That's Fritz. Well, and everything on supercharger staying on fine. Seems like the back of the Pro Charger has some kind of leak on it. I don't know why or what reason that it's leaking. Oh yeah, screw that all the way in and then pull it back out. We had a little bit of um, hit issues. We have a bubble somewhere in the system. You know, it was, we were just playing with it on the line, but they were able to keep the car cool enough for him to go in and put a pass. He did a nod, another nice follow run. And I mean, you know, it's, it's just a matter of going back there right now, burping the car, getting the fresh tires, wait for qualifying, let him do his thing. Everything's going good, can't complain. Um, he's been putting in the work. The crew's been putting in the work. We actually we had to pull the supercharger out to change the seal on it. Um, so we did that in between practice. It was a matter of, it showed up like 40 minutes before practice started. But you know, we have a good team. You know, Chris is killing it. And was able to pull the supercharger out, take everything apart, you know, throw the new seal in there, put it back in the car. And here we are, you know, ready to battle. Drift HQ Achilles tire, another 240SX. 
this uh, with the drop top, like the, the Bimney top there, almost like a Jeep. All right, Alex Schlegel, you can see our leaderboard now being established with uh, the B Sorensen, that being Brandon Sorensen at the top of the heap with an 88. Schlegel in that Drift HQ S chassis. Schlegel is going to be camouflaged with that green car on the green wall, but we're seeing a bit of black in between him and the vehicle. The wall as Schlegel now seems to find the poise, brings it together through that power alley. You can see the front wheels correcting to massage to get into that outside zone. And he does just a little bit later there, but he keeps it off the wall, as I said. If, uh, if he got up to that wall, he's definitely camouflaged, but still a bit of tarmac between him and that wall. Well, I saw Alex uh, share a nice little timeline <clears throat> of himself over the past 10 years, saying it's his dream to be in Formula Drift the year he is today, recognizing that dream and getting started here on his first qualifying run. A couple little mistakes up top, likes him to get a little bit deeper, but in this second outside zone, does a much better job there and finishes up his run. Looks like it'll be a nice little score for him and something to build on for run number two. All right, so uh, as we are waiting for Schlegel score, a 73. A 73 for Schlegel. I, I know that people, quite often people don't like to talk about it. Yeah. Steve's right on that second hash mark. Did a really well executed run overall for Jonathan. Executed well. 483s there. So these second runs are going to be really important for these guys. Uh, Alex Schlegel, he has a 73, so he is beyond that cutoff point. Whoa! All right, making me a bit nervous there for Schlegel. You can see him winding it up and then coming unbound into that second front flip. Getting a little sketchy run there on the initiation and on the bank. Alex Schlegel on that Drift HQ. Again, Alex Schlegel. Well, if his strategy here was to try to pick up a higher score on run number two by really giving it all, he almost paid a big price there. And uh, as he's trying to build on his score line here in run number two, he got real close to going into the wall. It was a great save, but obviously this is going to be uh, a big mistake on the on the bank. He was able to bring it back around to that final outside zone pretty well. I think you said he's sitting on an 80. Is that right? He's sitting on an 84, Jared? Uh, Alex Schlegel uh, already has a 73. So 70, 73, he, he, so he, he needs, does need to improve. Yeah, he's beyond that cutoff. So he, kind of like Schulte, needs to step up. And I don't know if that's going to be enough. And just barely 75, and that will not be enough. So Schlegel knocked out here. Huh? What's up? That's the point. Hi, Loxley. So we went out and uh, went for a qualifying run, my second one, and I initiated in fourth gear, and it didn't initiate how I expected it to. It set me for a lower line than I wanted, so I had to check up e-brake to get high on the bank, which helped me there. I was able to maintain a good run for the rest of the run, but the judges gave me a 75, and I am out. We'll have better luck next time at Road Atlanta. We're going to get it. All right, man, so. Right is right. Ow. Wait, what? Damn. <laughs> I heard it out there. He said my. Hey. Just touch my eye with something brake cleaner. Uh, you doing the mega zoom in, Loxy? Come not on. right now. <laughs> what you want? <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm not doing the mega zoom. Extreme. The extreme zoom. Extreme. Eyeball. So what's the plan for tomorrow? Help whoever needs help, man. That's Sweet. what. That's what this is about. Help yeah. them. The draw. name right there says, you know, Drift HQ. Yeah, buddy. Buddy. Help your neighbor. Yeah, buddy. Help Miles. Help somebody. Well, today has been a long day. I've been not really running around too much, but um, I'm excited to be here. I got my vest, you know, filming here in Formula Drift, which is awesome. Well, anyway, so we're going to start packing up, and, uh, you know, tomorrow we're basically going to help people. What's up? Go fast today, bro. Yeah, we got it going. We're just out here. We'll get them. There's always Road Atlanta. You like that track, so. 
What do you want to know, Loxley? What happened here? Is that what you want to know, Loxley? What's good, man? We went out, we went out swinging. <laughs> All I gotta say, where's the? Give me a microphone. Let me drop it real quick. You just gotta drop a mic. <laughs> nah, it can it can be anything. You just gotta bleep it for really long. So it's just like you get, we, we, you just like. Beep. Just censor the entire sentence. You're the like, whole sentence. You can really be mad. <laughs> oh, the my hands. They're bogo. The hands. They're bogo right now. Dog like. Extreme. <laughs> Every time I look up, he's got the camera on. Uh, who knows what he's caught me. I was looking at He's on lead now. Kelsey literally brought her other car. Wait, what? Drove it for a second. That SR sounded like it was on two cylinders and drove it back out. Why didn't she ask the guy that had the freaking KA? Turbo KA. Because they use 60? Huh? Like every other car? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, I don't know anything I about just, I would hey, just send it hey, with hey, hey. Club. hey, man. Hey, man. I'm not Chris. I don't know anything about cars, man. I just put an LS off. I just put an LS and RX-7, guy. Get like I don't know. I don't know which mo what motor stuff you put in there. Hmm? Huh? huh? What? No, no, I'm what? About what? What? Like what? You said I don't know anything about cars. I just put an LS and an R RS, RS, RS7, RXX, RX9, RX7, R your seven. Yeah, R your seven. It doesn't run. Speak English. How? Wait, what? You know, Loxley don't know nothing about wrenching. I don't know anything about wrenching, man. You don't blow any kind of car. I don't know anything about wrenching. It ain't RX7s with LSs, and he got nothing to say. Yep. Is that a Pretty Toyota? Nice. Your car. I'm I'm done with you. They're calling.